In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Facebook metadata for your website's homepage so you can control how your homepage looks when someone shares it on Facebook. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. When someone shares a link to your homepage on Facebook, for example, maybe it's the all-in-one SEO.com page, Facebook will display an image, a title, and even a description of that homepage. So as we can see in this example, we have an image that says the best WordPress SEO plugin and toolkit. There's a title here about all-in-one SEO, and then there's a description below that title. You can control what information is presented here using our all-in-one SEO plugin. And really, you should take advantage of this because this is basically like a free advertisement on Facebook when someone shares your website. So you want to use the image, headline, and description that best represents your website. So there are two ways to do this depending on whether your website displays your homepage as a list of posts or as a static homepage. If you remember over in the settings section for WordPress underneath reading, you determine whether your homepage is going to display your latest post or a static page. So I'm going to show you how to adjust these settings in All-in-One SEO if your homepage displays your latest post. I'll show you that first and then I'll come back and show you the other way. So we're going to want to go to the All-in-One SEO menu on the left and click on Social Networks. And then on the tabs up top, we want to make sure we're on the Facebook tab. And then scroll on down to where it says Homepage Settings. There's a preview section here, and then here's where I can set the image and title and description for my homepage. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to upload an image. And I'm going to choose that image. And what's great about this is you can use any image you want. Without using the All-in-One SEO plugin, Facebook is just going to kind of take its best guess as to what it should use for your homepage. So here I have created this image for the demo site, all the demo-y things you need, basically just to advertise this demo website on Facebook. So you can make an image that is specifically designed to be used anytime someone shares a link to your homepage on Facebook. It doesn't even have to be an image that normally would have existed on your website. So that takes care of the main image that's going to be shared. Below that, we have options for the title and description, which in the preview, the title would be this bolded area that says demo site. And then the description would be the part that says site for demo site. In both of these areas, the title and the description, you can use the smart tags or you can type your own title. So I'm just going to type my own title in here. And then for the description, I'm going to use two of the smart tags. I'm going to say site title and separator, and then type in some of my additional custom text. And then if I scroll back up to the preview area, we can see how this will look when it's shared on Facebook. So the last step is to scroll down and just hit the big blue button that says save changes. And you're done. So that's how to set this up if the homepage of your WordPress website displays your latest post. If it does not display your latest post and it displays a static homepage, there's a different way to do this. So what we need to do is go to the pages section and then pull up our homepage to edit it. So if I scroll on down past the content of the all-in-one SEO settings, I want to click on the social tab up top here. And then it's basically the same process. So I'm going to put in a title. For this example, I'm just going to use the page title. I'm going to put in a description. And then under image source, I am going to choose custom image. And here's where I can upload that custom image. So I'm going to use the same image we used before. It's in the media library. I'm going to choose this image, this demo site image right here. So if we scroll back up and look at the preview, we can see now when someone shares this content on Facebook, it's going to use this demo site image, the title and the description that I set up below. Make sure to hit the big blue update button and you're done. So that's how to control how your homepage will appear when someone shares it on Facebook. If you click on this next video right here, we'll show you all of the other Facebook settings inside of All-in-One SEO. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. 
And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, All-in-One SEO.